Welcome back to the tutorials guys and in this tutorial we're actually going to learn a new function which allows us to basically prompt the user for a value and then we're going to take that value and we're going to put it into a variable and uh, this new function is called scanf and we'll get into that as we build out our program first I want you guys to declare a Jedi rank variable and that's what we're going to pass into the program so we're basically going to prompt the user and say hey what's your Jedi rank and then they're going to input it within their keypad, their numeric pad, as to what their Jedi rank is. And then we're going to take that value that they give us and we're going to display it on screen for them. Just reiterating that. So what we're going to first do is write in their scan F. And this is very similar to the printf function that we've been using in the previous tutorials. And in this case, we want to pass in our integer value. So we're going to request an integer from our user. So we're going to do percent %i and uh, is the string we're looking for there and now the only difference is we want to pass this to our Jedi rank variable so basically we're prompting the user for an integer value and then we're gonna assign that integer to our Jedi rank integer now that would look similar to the printf function the only difference is, is we're gonna put an ampersand sign before our variable name there and this ampersand is basically directing us to this variable and saying hey store this value that the user is going to put in here and uh, do whatever you want with it later so that's the only difference is the ampersand before the variable there don't forget your semicolon and now we want to take the results because if we run our program right now let's go ahead and well we can't yeah we can let's go ahead and run that right now it comes up with nothing it's actually waiting for us to input a value so let's put in 50 and hit return and you'll see you run successful so that's awesome. We basically took 50 and we did nothing with it. We just stored it within the variable name and our program succeeded. Well, let's take it and make sure that uh, what we want to do is actually getting passed into the program. So maybe we'll display your Jedi rank is, and then we're going to pass that variable back out like we did in the previous tutorials. And comma, so we're going to take it and pass the value semicolon at the end so hopefully that makes sense we're, we're requesting the user to put in a, a, val a value for us and we're going to take that value and we're going to store it within it, the integer up here the variable up here and then what we're going to do is we're going to call that variable and tell it to print on screen like we've been doing with uh, a lot of the other stuff so now let's run it and you'll see now it's waiting for us to input a value so 50 hit return and after you hit return it automatically moves on to your printf statement. Your Jedi rank is 50, so it's pulling your variable now there. So that's awesome. One thing you guys want to make note is you probably want to prompt your user beforehand saying something like, um, enter your Jedi rank. And we're not going to pass any variables or display any variables. We're simply just going to print this statement to the screens for our users. So now run it you'll see that they're prompted it says enter your Jedi rank at this point they put 50 hit return and then our printf function of our displaying their Jedi rank comes up and says your Jedi rank is 50 so now we're getting into some of the fun stuff where we can pull in inputs and then also display the outputs with those variables which is gonna it's gonna make your program so much more robust so uh, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial later